were looking at a power station built inside a mountain to preserve the beauty of the environment. But the environment isn't just the countryside. It's the places where we work and live. Thanks to electricity, we live in a brighter, cleaner world because electricity plays a vital part in everything from keeping a check on the elements and keeping the elements in check to safeguarding national treasures. The power that enriches all our lives. Electricity. Energy for life. Morris takes the field for the first pitch of the game. There was concern that he might not be able to play today. They do an excellent job of hitting here. Here's the pitch. And a grand slammer for Morris. Now then, all the bases are loaded. Morris. And the man is out at second base. He's running. What, what, he steals a base. That was such a good play. Home run! Home run! Something you work on every day in spring training. Budweiser, this is what a beer is all about. Is that in your perm, he asked? I said no. Why? It feels so soft and bouncy. So I revealed my secret. It's all thanks to Anagons by L'Oreal, an amazing new conditioner designed specially for permed hair. How does it work, he asked. Anagons is incredible, I told him. My hair's so soft, and yet my perm looks like new. You're really lucky, he said. I replied, you're the lucky one. New Anagons softens your hair without relaxing your perm. <laughs> Special edition Peugeot 309 style. Best to be the rush. Come on now, one at a time. No pushing. And no singing neither. Oh, uh, <laughs> sit down with it. Dairy Link. Oh, Brilliant. Wow. Guess a Dairy Link triangle. What's it worth? Swap your name. What is it? Dairy Link. Oh, come on, please. The Dairy Link mud, them kids. With its milk and cheese, Dairy Lee's a good source of calcium. But it's the taste kids will give anything for. I get a lot more out of school chips these days. Kids will give anything for Dairy Lee. You'd expect to find plenty of British steel in Britain. In all shapes and sizes. But British Steel's going much further than that. We're selling it in Canada, in India, the USA, in Egypt, and in Sweden. Indeed, there are many countries that don't buy British Steel. From April to September last year, our exports were up by 40%. British Steel, in shape for things to come. Sorry, Murray. So, you'll be wanting a new car then, eh? Well, this could be your lucky day. Yeah, but what about... The new Metro and Maestro Specials. Terrific value, some very special ways to pay, and they've even given them both a sunroof. Ooh. But you'll have to hurry, Murray. They're going to go fast. But isn't it... Exactly, Murray. Less than any Fiesta and Maestro Special. But I thought... Absolutely, Murray. Less than any Escort. So, whichever you choose, it won't cost a mint, Murray. A Murray mint. <laughs> Get it, Murray? Sorry, Murray. Good morning, Bob. Here we go.
Lou Tennant's the name. I was getting nowhere on Candy's case. The chips were down, the place was battered. A French fry let something slip. I ordered a Tennant's Pilsner. The cool taste was heavens above. Then it clicked. It was an open and shut case. I was a star. I had a choice. Drink my Tennant's Pilsner. Or head for... It was close, but not that close. Tennant's Pilsner. That's good, but <laughs> not that good. This way. No, this way. No, 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 look. Right, that. What's that? She's eating chocolate. It's Ballisto. Ballisto? Yeah, Ballisto's different. It's not just chocolate, and it's mine. <laughs> New Ballisto. Light wheatmeal biscuit, onion almonds, or muesli wrapped in delicious milk chocolate. It is different. Mmm, it's great. This is the way. New Ballisto. Today's chocolate bite that's naturally right. Sensual new fragrance from Impulse. Men just can't help acting on it. Two tickets for the Orient Express, please. What's this? Yes, those shredded wheat chappies are giving away a corker of a prize. Sixty cheery couples will journey across Europe on the world's most famous train. Enter now for the trip of a lifetime. Hi, Johnny. Everything all right? I could get a dangerous shock, even electrocuted. But I'm protected because I've got it plugged into my power breaker. Beginning tomorrow on TBS, the true story of Nancy Wake, an Australian who became a heroine in the resistance. We don't even know this man. It's too dangerous. Now there is a guard at the prison who will help if... We're sending you into France next week. Nancy Wake. A true story begins tomorrow at 8.15 and continues Monday at 9 on TVS. Especially for you night owls out there, Night Network is coming up in just under 10 minutes. That's after we get physical with some hilarious sports bloopers. Next. Lucky they are. Even Barclays give it to him on a plate. Too kind, guys. Too kind. In my day, when we opened a bank account, you got a checkbook, the plastic, a few other things, and thought ourselves lucky to get that. Now they get the choice of a file of facts or a cassette of smash hits. You lucky people! If you're starting work this year, open a Barclays account and we'll give you a genuine file of facts. Or the 16-track music box tape, including the Blow Monkeys, Mel and Kim, and... What makes them so different? There's one company that's committed hundreds of millions of pounds to developing and building a range of vans that's right for your business. They've combined craftsmanship with the latest in precision robots to give you reliability. They've developed some of the most advanced engines in the world to give you performance with economy. They've the latest in computer design to give you load space efficiency and security many homes would be proud of. And it's all backed by a professional dealer network which spans the country. Ford, vans with a future. <laughs> now the Condor's no pricey. Oh, Condor mild. Same old Condor, such a mild the bins all again. 
Oh, well. Welcome aboard, old boy. Yes, I vividly remember my first fight for the Condor. We were just rounding the Cape. We were trying to going up. The captain turned to me and said, what time Nothing is the should disturb oh, yeah. that Condor moment. Duracell is no ordinary battery. In this continuous test, Duracell lasts six times longer than ordinary zinc carbon batteries. Duracell. No ordinary battery looks like it or lasts like it. Okay, let's stop for a diet Pepsi. Let's forget about it. No, 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 come on, it's no problem. When you go all out for taste, go for Diet Pepsi, now with no saccharin. So, how do we get back in? Hey. Okay, come on, let's go. You got the keys? Taste the difference with Diet Pepsi. This is not a problem. Jackie, did you bury the car? In the sand! I'm not helping much, am I, Dad? No, but I know a man who can. AA Five Star. Motoring abroad. Mom? We're all you need to know. Yes, it could, could well have sand in the engine, yes. Just after one o'clock, we'll be tuning in to Night Network for more up-to-the-minute news, views and videos and music from the Screaming Blue Messiahs. That's Night Network on air in about five minutes. Now on TVS Sports Bloopers. Whenever and wherever they're needed, the police are there to answer calls for help. Join us for a weekend following the police here in London, across the world in Sydney, in downtown New York, live. Next weekend on TVS, Police International. Now on TVS, we join ITN for the news. The IRA has admitted it killed a family of three by mistake after detonating a huge landmine close to the border with the Irish Republic. The bomb was hidden on the main road at Killeen near Newry, yards from where Lord Justice Gibson and his wife were killed by a similar landmine last year. Robin Hanna, his wife Maureen and their six-year-old son were returning from a holiday in America yesterday when their Shogun Jeep was blown into a field by the bomb. They were killed instantly. Three people in a Renault and a Lada car travelling behind received minor injuries. The IRA claims the landmine was triggered by army scanning equipment. Iran is urging war veterans to take up arms and is sending reinforcements to its war front after a new Iraqi offensive. Iraq claims it's now withdrawing from Iran after capturing more than 8,000 Iranian soldiers expected to be used to bargain for Iraqi prisoners in forthcoming peace talks. The Iraqis took the Iranian town of Jilan al-Gharb and further south came within 25 miles of Ahfaz. Without any apparent prompting from their captors, the Iranian troops denounced their leaders and called for the deaths of Ayatollah Khomeini and armed forces commander Ali Akbar Rafsanjani. Iran claims the tank-led invasion was backed by heavy artillery fire, jet fighters, helicopter gunships and chemical weapons. A new opinion poll in America puts Michael Dukakis 17 percentage points ahead of his Republican rival George Bush. The Gallup poll in Newsweek magazine shows Dukakis on 55% in the aftermath of the Democratic Party convention. Bush has 38%, with voters saying Dukakis would out every area except foreign policy. The jailed black South African leader Nelson Mandela was said to be bubbling with hope for the future as he received belated birthday visits, including one from two of his closest friends. The couple hadn't seen him since he was imprisoned 26 years ago, but they said Mandela, now 70, hadn't changed much. He looks the same height, of course, the same soft eyes, same strong jawline. He's got tufts of grey hair in between the black. He looks very well, and he says he's very well physically. 
And that's it. <laughs>